Good morning from Istanbul, Turkey. Today we're headed to uh, Warsaw, Poland. It's bright and early. We're here at the beautiful uh, airport in Istanbul. And this is probably one of the nicest airports I've ever been to. All the name brands, Gucci, Louis Vuitton, Bulgari. Everything's here for your shopping enjoyment in Istanbul. So today we travel to Warsaw and we begin our process of heading to Ukraine. It's going to be an amazing trip, but it's going to be a difficult one. We have a long flight ahead of us and then we have to uh, make a bus trip. So it's going to be a full day of travel. But we'll keep you posted on the trip and everything that's happening. Most importantly today is a good day because we're headed somewhere where we can do some really good things and I'm excited to put my skills and expertise to use uh, to do good things in this world. So join me, stick with me, let's do this together. This is the year to go big and to do something new and to have bold new adventures. So let's do it. All right, so uh, a few fun stories from Istanbul. Uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Istanbul, but if you go and you eat food there, they serve tea after the meal. And the tea comes in these little thin uh, glass teacups. They're like this big and they're made out of very thin glass. The tea is poured into these teacups like molten hot lava, okay? And when <laughs> you go to pick up the teacup, for the first time, it's like uh, the, the glass on the teacup is 300 degrees. So when you pick it up, you're not expecting it, but it burns your fingers a little bit. Uh, anyways, everyone in Turkey is used to this. They're used to picking up these hot glasses and they very calmly and coolly take a first sip, but because they know if they do it quickly and put the teacup down, it's not gonna burn their fingers. But if you pick it up and you hold it for any length of time, it very quickly becomes very hot in your, in your hand. So how do you spot a person that's never had tea in Turkey before? They pick the cup up and then they very quickly put it back down or they're unsuccessful and they have to abort their first sip. And it's very funny because when it happens to you, it makes you feel like you just don't know anything about how to, uh, how to act uh, in, in that setting in Turkey. It's so funny and it's so embarrassing. But anyways, uh, the CEO that we met with, Semi, he would pick up the cup and just very quickly take a sip and put it back down like nothing. But the first uh, time that we tried, and pretty much every time, you pick it up, your hands start shaking, ah, it's burning my fingers, and you put it back down. It was so funny. Also, we went shopping. So they have a ton of shops in Istanbul. And I'm telling you, they have some world-class salespeople in Istanbul. The people that work at the shops are so good at selling. And here's how they do it. They make you feel really special uh, when it comes to their relationship with you. They talk to you, they befriend you, they offer you some coffee from their shop. They have like a little coffee pot in the back of every shop. And they really, really are friendly and go out of their way to take care of you. And uh, the, the really good salespeople that I met in these shops in Istanbul, they don't try to sell you at all, but they just kind of have a, a relationship with you. And what happens is you end up buying uh, something from their shop because you feel so comfortable, like they actually care about you. So it's a really great sales strategy. 
but then you still have those people that are really pushy. They're out there on the street. They're trying to sell you a fake Rolex or uh, some socks or something, right? And immediately, right away, when you don't buy it, right away, they start discounting. Okay, give me $10. Okay, $7. Okay, $5. It's a discount strategy right off the bat. It ne almost never works, right? The other uh, sales tactic that doesn't work that I saw a lot of was the desperation sale. Please, please buy this. I'm desperate. I haven't had any customers. I really need your help. Salespeople, don't be desperate. It's not a good look and people won't buy from you if you seem desperate. So follow the example of the sales pros in Istanbul in the shops. Treat people like solid gold develop a good relationship with them, go out of your way to serve them, give first before you ask for something in return. And just like those uh, expert sales pros in the shops in Istanbul, you too will sell a lot to your customers and your customers will love you. That's the sales pro tip of the day from Istanbul.